Mungu wetu tunakuomba ulinzi na nguvu kwa watarika wa mafuriko ya elenino ya na yo haribu matamasha ya bafu la udongo wa penima ya kujenga upia na kurejesha utilivu tunakuomba kusaidia na kuafaraji wale wote waliopeteza biashara zao tunaomba baraka na uokoaji katika kipindi hiki kigumu amen oh god we pray for protection and strength for the victims of pelanina floods that they have destroyed the clay bad centers grant them grace to rebuild and restore tranquility we ask for your help to aid and comfort all those who have lost their business we pray for our blessings and salvation during this challenging time amen Clay Beth Retreat Center is in shambles. I am not okay. I have toothache. This is breaking Clay Beth news update. Back to breaking news. Severe weather has left a clay bath in ruins. Due to massive floods, others are calling it El Nino. Apparently, somebody is on the standby to tell us more. What is El Nino or El Nino? Over to you, Sam El Nino. I am standing here for somebody, El Nino, for today's news update. You said El Nino. It's El Nino. What happened in Yabuhanse wasn't El Nino, but a regular rain that happens every year. That's rain. So what's El Nino? I'm sorry, El Nino, that's not my business. Stay Tuesday for further updates. This is some El Nino reporting for news. Over to you. Over to you, Macharia. Kane Macharia, over to you. God, Mother, my God, what is not happening here? Look at the liver. Look at this ice everywhere. Oh, my first time to pour the ice. All right, so. That's uh, flooding with the ice. So this, this cannot be El Nino because El Nino has something to do with warm water and warm weather. So this is not El Nino. If you have that hell, I think this is a hell, not ice. This is hell. Ice is, you know, when it's too cold and all that. So let's listen. Guys, Europe, Europe, USA, I've been dealing with this since. Oh, no. Rain, uh, they usually have it this, around this time and it happens every year. Oh, you can see a lot of water, you know, um, falling from the, from the roof. Hard work. Uh, the clay bar is in a big mess. After so much hard work, Besides now, 
But uh, the aim of this video is to show you guys wow. after cleaning. Oh, look at this ice, ice. But now, this is our clay bath again. God, my God, God, Father, my God, what is not happening here? Look at the liver. Oh, my goodness, again, just again. After a heavy, heavy downfall, guys, our cray bath is already in a beat. So, this is a downfall. The rain, it's not a downfall, it's actually a rain, you know, um, the heavy rain that happens every year. Uh, this is not, this is not um, El Nino. Uh, it's not El Nino at all, guys. Uh, yeah, it's not El Nino, but the title says, El Nino, you see, that's actually rain in that river, as we are told, you know, it runs throughout the year. It doesn't get dry, you know. So you've heard in, in many videos explaining that that river doesn't get dry. So when it, there's a heavy rain, and that's what you're going to get. Um, it just needs maybe Ayamara's house and the floor needs, you know, we have already sent our prayers from the beginning of this video. So we just need to send in our, our you know, um, prayers, more prayers for Ayamara, the brother, uh, that, you know, he needs to strengthen, find ways to strengthen his house, the mansion that he had. Elenina uh, happens every, like, two years to four years, uh, but most of the time, maybe seven years, sometimes, you know, uh, some time back, I think it was in 2014 or 15 or 10, somewhere there, we, the world had faced, you know, El Nino. So it doesn't happen like, like a regularly, you know. It's not a season thing that regularly you're going to, every year you can get El Nino. That's wrong information and it can mislead and destroy the security of the nation. It can send the alum to Kenyan's, uh, Kenyan population, which is not a very good idea. You have to explain that this is the season, rain, uh, rain season, not El Nino season. All right? That's how you have to explain this. Um, don't alarm the nation. I'm pretty Now, guys, advise me accordingly. I've been doing a lot of work here. I've been trying like uh, to make this clay bath look so beautiful, but now, Huh. It's the Elanina season. No, it's the not. liver is crazy. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're gonna need to rewind a lot of that part. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's you know, it can't be a season. It cannot be a season. It cannot be a season. It's not a season, bro. Uh Elanino doesn't happen regularly. Um, it's about maybe four years or, um, you know, seven years or something like that, but not the way it's been explained. Uh, Whoa, look at this. Look at this. It's in a big mess. You can't imagine. Look at this. Holy God. Another funny thing. From Isa's garden, it's gone. Oh, look at yeah. this. Uh, Give me a job to take care of this place, but, but now. Hey. Wow. So, guys, what do I do now? Okay, this is uh, not a, you know, um, season. Guys, just to warn you that uh, the global, uh, the global warming, the climate change and all that, uh, causes most of those and actually you know uh every year you have rain you you do have rain right now as we're speaking we have also a country called south africa they're also facing uh usually this time it's the time of the heavy heavy floods uh and that's what you're facing and you can see the mains there if it's el nino uh that mains won't be standing but according to their um ken macharia Macharia, he says uh, the 
you know, uh, mains has been destroyed completely. But if you all got eyes, you can see stems of the corn in there is still standing. Um, if it's El Nino, all the other will be gone down. It's a huge disaster. You can't use that word, El Nino. It's, oh my God, it's a catastrophic. It can cause the droughts. It can cause both droughts and heavy floods, mud, and all these kind of things. Say, wow, or what? The maze is destroyed. Look at this. It's destroyed completely. <laughs> completely. Now, guys, advise me accordingly. I've been doing a lot of work here. I've been trying, like, uh, to make this clay bath look so beautiful. But now, uh, it's the Aronina season. It's not, the liver is uh, crazy. Oh, bro. It can't be a season. It's a rainy season. Don't send alarm, you know, to people. Uh, if if it's El Nino, you will be perhaps in an advice to uh, evacuate. You have to be evacuated. You know, if El Nino comes to that side, you have to evacuate. You know, uh, so you cannot really like use those words. Uh, such, you know, uh, now. We need to present our information properly. So let's take a listen here. Uh, that means we are expecting extreme rainfall over the parts of the Eastern Africa region. Yeah, so it's a extreme heavy rain because if that's El Nino, definitely um, everything will be destroyed. You wanna know how El Nino would look like? Let me show you. On land. In the western United States and Central and South America, the warm air and moisture lead to increased storms, rainfall, floods, loss of life and problems. You see, this is what El Nino can do to you. So be careful when you mention about the word El Nino. It's not something that you can stand there uh, after a few minutes, uh, you know, and then you're still standing there. Even the stem of the mains, the corn is still standing. This is how El Nino can do to you. You wouldn't be alive talking. Property and the increase of some vector-borne diseases like malaria, even in places where they don't normally occur. In Southeast Asia... So you would expect a lot of things, you know, if it, uh, El Nino had to hit that side. Asia and Australia, the opposite takes place. These areas suffer from drought, wildfires, and colder ocean water. Well, actually, we can say, you know, it's really dangerous. Obviously, um, AMR needs to, you know, the CNCE owns a lot of lots and lots of land, you know, uh, in Nyabuhansi. He needs to prepare to make sure he protects himself too from, uh, 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 you know, those um, desert, you know, um, you know, what you call locusts. <laughs> In 1997 and 98, the world experienced the biggest El Nino in recorded history. I mean, if uh, obviously, you know, why do you think Bill Gates is still buying the land? Is is buying uh, almost, you know, the land that's almost the same size as uh, as New York City? So if El Nino is really like that, you know, I mean, there's a global warming. I mean, this global warming is something that happens throughout. Some estimates blame that El Nino for 2,100 deaths. This is what can happen, you know, people can die. So in Yabo Hansen, a lot of people, uh, we didn't hear much of the deaths. Uh, maybe perhaps we'll hear uh, later on, but we haven't heard anything, you know. So you don't just alarm people and put the title of El Nino. Uh, this, these are the steps that you need to wait from the government. The president has to announce the, the emergency because they have all the tools, I mean, uh, to predict the climate, even though some people have already predicted. So you need to be careful when you're building something though. So, yeah. And $33 billion in damages. Mongolia saw temperatures reach 180. So, as I mentioned to you that Bill Gates is actually um, buying land and land. Uh, let's see. If, um, and this, you know, heavy rain can cause malaria. So you should be careful that uh, no one is sick in um, in Nyabuhanse or that area where it's raining, cause uh, rats 
and many other things, you know, and uh, waterborne diseases can cause many different things. So this is these these are these are the tough times for many people or citizens of uh, near Bohansi. I mean, people are really strong. They needed to make sure that uh, no mysterious things, you know, taking place. Um, it's not easy. And you need to make sure that, guys, I need to make sure that, you know, we we really need to pray to uh, uh, all the people in your Bohansi. And um, you need to continue uh, doing the right thing all the time. I know people always rise and rise and rise in good times, but you need to make sure that you stick to your people and make sure you attract, um, you know, good things in life. Uh, Water is, uh, if you notice that many challenges that Ayamara faces is that last time he was using water to bath, I think in one of the countries he traveled and he lost his uh, money or a wallet, somebody stole the money. And then it looks like in the entire family, you know, when you saw Dean Wango was also closer to the ocean or water or by the beach. And then she was flying, uh, she was flying a drone and because of that, water wasn't good at all. So looks like a water is an enemy, uh, is a challenge, is difficulty to the family, and she lost her drone. And then again, if you see that uh, the mother, uh, congrats, mom, was also bathing in the river or a stream, also that's closer to the water. And again, you know, people criticized uh for such behavior like you know from uh, mabuso i am mabuso uh, uh one and looks like a, now you have water that has destroyed heavy rain has destroyed uh the the the, the clay uh the clay bath so it looks like a water is an enemy in this family uh and many other things that um does destroy um water or any liquids so you need to look at all this. You know, if we, you are fire, you need to be careful with the water because the water will put the fire out, you know. Uh, or if you are water, also if your element is, an, is, is water, water and water may not attract each other, may clash as well. So be careful with us. And also, as, as we know, you know, uh, that if, you know, he, the, the people in Yabuhansi, including Amara, will always rise because they're always on a reproductive, um, you know, and more progressive and always rise, especially at night. So this is a time to recuperate and feel well and get well and wishing everybody else, you know, um, the best in their lives. Uh, some piece of advice I can give to Ayamara is that he needs to trust his instincts and embrace, you know, change fearlessly, listen to advice that you're given uh, by uh, some reactors, you know, um, and dive really deep into their everything else, you know, because the reactors actually love Ayamara, honestly. Uh, if you guys have no friend this idea, they do, um, you know, so please grant the strength to embrace the intensity of anything else, and especially if you want to transform in life and have ambition and to be independent in, you know, um, and challenges that you face in, in turning that uh, into growth, you know, because uh, only divine is a protector, you know, so we need somebody like you to, to be granted wisdom. And how do you get wisdom? Is to listen to advice and to uncover your hidden germ and your hidden strength, you know? That's all you need to do. You have energy, but you need to have that sacred energy. And how do you get that? You know, people will help you to harness that energy you have, that intuition you have, whatever you embrace, you know, that mystery in your life and the courage in, in your life by the criticism that you get and, and the advice that you get. Criticism do come or does come in different shape and colors, you know, uh, some might be harsh uh, and in intensive, you know, but that should not stop you because you're uh, like water and you need to be able to, you're like a clay, you know, you need to be able to 
uh, mold into any shape, you know. So this is very important, and I, I, uh, I guarantee you that can shape your life, you know, to be quite frank with you, you know. Uh, depending on your how you feel, but that's my advice, you know, to everyone, like, especially to IMR, you, you need to listen, um, not to have a death, um, uh, deaf years, you know, uh, not to be stubborn in any kind of nature. You need to be willing to accept advice, regardless of whatever the value or how intensive this is, in terms of especially people who are, you know, giving you wisdom through, you know, uh, uh, criticism uh, or through, you know, uh, reacting to your videos. This because we all of us we have uh that thing that trait that exhibits you know um unattractiveness you know to some people uh but we can't ignore we can't be ignorant to what they give us you know the wise person told me that you rather look for challenges than looking for glory people to glorify you and praise you all the time because the people that likes you i am are, are your best are your worst enemies in, to be, because all they want something from you, and they usually say, you know, the people that are uh, um, reactors are the ones that hate you or jealous of you, or they're making money out of your name or whatever, and it makes you to want to block or demonetize or to stop people's channels. But my advice to you, my friend, my African brother, and my my brother at heart. These are suggestions, you know, and you should be able to take it. Uh, uh, the challenges are the ones that you should follow. Uh, those ones that you deem to be your best enemies, that are your best friends, that are the ones that loves you. The ones that are closer to you coming there with their cameras and taking videos and using your name and positive reactors are your worst enemies, you know, and you need to have this wisdom, you know, um, in a... In, in, in some way, one guy wrote that uh, oh, everything is uh, the intelligent person will know that the opposite is true. So uh, the ones that hate you is the opposite of what you think, you know. Uh, so just don't be clouded, you know. Uh, that is a source. You know, that is a source to any solution to any kind of situations, you know, challenges, such as floods, such as uh, illnesses. You know, these people will be there for you. And they kept warning you that do not do not trust the people that are closer to you. We love you. We like you, you know, so much, you know, but we because we love you, we will be harsh. You know, I remember my life story, people that have 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 helped me in my life, people that used to be my girlfriends, you know, are the ones that used to be my enemies. And actually, you know, the best friend is the one that the one that starts to be enemy first. Yeah, that person is an enemy first. Then they, later on, or eventually, or gradually, they become your friends. The ones that are, you know, on the snap of your finger that your best friend or taking videos, the one that have featured you or you have featured in their videos, wise up, my my brother. Those are your worst enemies. And you know what happened. We were speaking to you about Iventure. Uh, Iventure, you know, I mean, he, he was the one that kicked you out, you know, on a, on a video that we watched, you know. So remember, you know, drink this water from the people who are helping you to reflect, you know, on your life, uh, on your traits, on your character, and helping you day to day. And those ones that you're keeping in your bohansi, uh, your worst enemy, don't believe, don't trust them, to be quite frank with you. Don't accommodate them. Accommodate the people that are criticizing you and reacting to your videos. Do not demonetize, you know, their channels. Do not fight them. Do not, uh, those ones that are helping you or propagating and creating propaganda against the reactors, you know, if we are gone, if we are gone, if the reactors are gone, uh, it's not going to be nice. You know, the most intelligent and rich person looks for challenges, not for the um, sheer luck uh, of some people visiting you all the time. You know, uh, those are worst enemies. They don't like you. They just want to get access to you. You know, so I'm giving you guidance and advice to my best friend. Uh, whatever you're going through in your life, I hope 
you that you find it in your heart to believe and to be nice and um you know we all make mistakes and you need to basically understand that we love you we're not jealous of you we want you to be a better person and that's why we only look at uh, uh certain things you know because it takes a village to raise a child thank you <laughs>